Today we're doing a review of the Genie Bidet, which can be purchased from geniebidet.myshopify.com for $99. First thing we need to do is turn the water off and drain the tank. This is usually located on the floor behind the toilet. Next, we need to remove the old toilet seat completely. With the toilet seat removed, next we'll be installing the expansion nuts. This is the adapter plate we will be installing in the following steps. You can use the paper installation template to help you adjust the adapter plate, which will show you exactly where the toilet seat will sit on your toilet. This is the T connector we'll be installing in the following steps, which shows the water hose going to the bidet as well as the water supply from your house. With your tank already drained, hand tighten the T connector. Next, attach the water supply from the house to the bottom of the T connector. Finally, attach the water hose to the T connector that will supply water to the bidet. Next, we'll look at the other end of the water hose, which connects to the bidet. Tighten, being careful not to strip the threads. With everything connected, turn your water supply on and check for leaks. On the side of the bidet, you'll find a control lever. This allows you to choose between a front or back wash, as well as control the pressure of the water. With the toilet seat up, you'll notice two retracted wands. On the left, you've got the rear bidet for rear cleaning. On the right, you've got the front bidet for front cleaning. In my testing, I found that both spray nozzles give an adequate amount of pressure for cleaning. Bidets are really big in Europe, and they're really big in Japan. I think these are a great option for pregnant women, people with disabilities, children, and the elderly. This was a fraction of the cost of a standalone bidet, and I had it installed within minutes. One of the very nice features of the Genie bidet is both the lid and the seat have a slow close feature, so no slamming. Extra wide toilet seat bumpers also gives the Genie bidet a firm feel. Another standout feature is the release button. When pressed, this allows you to totally remove the seat for easy cleaning. So is the Genie bidet worth the price? Yeah, I think so. The only change I'd make is I wish I saw more metal on this. It always makes me nervous when you're dealing with a lot of plastic parts, especially if you're dealing with the house water. Also, I would have loved to seen some plumber's tape included in the package.